What's going on guys, Ryan with the Ed Patrol, back with another video talking about the book of Boba Fett, talking about Fettig Shan from Hot Toys. Let's roll. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. We're going to be talking about the newly announced and earlier teased Hot Toys Fennec Shand from not the Mandalorian, not from Mandalorian, but from the actual Book of Boba Fett. This is our, it's pretty, this is pretty exciting stuff. In fact, just today, I actually got something in the mail. <laughs> I got something in the mail uh, that uh, it, it kind of goes along with this and I didn't even plan it that way. But check this out. I got the War of the Bounty Hunters. Number one, War of the Body Hunters, number one. Uh, this is the Tyler Kirkham art cover. Uh, autographed by Tyler Kirkham himself, who did the artist, the artist who did the, the work, and graded 9.8 CGC. This thing is freaking beautiful, and I'm super happy to have it in the collection because I uh, I just think the artwork is, is just fantastic. So that just happened to arrive just in time for us to talk about the Book of Boba Fett. So uh, last night, I was actually playing uh, Call of Duty, Seems to be a thing. And uh, after we got done playing Call of Duty, Hot Toys went, boom, you're done playing Call of Duty. Let's talk about Book of Boba Fett. We're going to give you the Fennec Shan, which we teased you with months and months and months ago. Uh, so let's talk about this figure because honestly, I think it looks freaking beautiful. And I know most people do, although if, and, and you can have your own opinion on things. I certainly have my opinions where I differ, you know, from other people as well. Um, uh, the comment section on the Hot Toys Facebook post where they announced this thing, very divided on the head sculpt. Very divided. Uh, I don't know why, but very divided on the head sculpt, but whatever. Here we go. Uh, Fennec Shan, th this is everything this figure comes with. We're going to take a look at a lot of the detail uh, going on with it, but personally, my opinion of it, it looks flipping fantastic, and I'm super excited. I had no doubt there was zero doubt in my mind that we were going to get this figure. Like, zero. The question was when, and uh, now we know the answer to that. Here we go. Uh, with Book of Boba Fett dropping December 29th, so very soon we're going to have that. Uh, so, anyways, let's get into this. The, the amount of accessory it comes with, it's pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to have a pistol blaster, which we'll take a closer look at. We've got a rifle blaster. We've got uh, her uh, jar of blue juice water. It's not blue milk, so it's something else, whatever that is. Um, we get her, uh, her her stomach that was repaired uh, by the Fet Man. We got that little feature. We got a dagger. We got a stand, which is a different kind of display stand, which is kind of interesting. After we just talked about the latest one with the Stormtrooper Squad Leader that we just released. In fact, I just did that video. Uh, you can check it out there. Uh, we're going to get some uh, uh, pouch with some stuff in it, and we got some hands. So let's take a look at this figure because honestly I think it looks quite fantastic. The head sculpt, we gotta talk about that first, I think. The head sculpt, I think it's great. I, I don't really see the issue with this. Um, you know, it's not, I, I wouldn't say it's the greatest head sculpt they've ever done. I wouldn't go with that one. Uh, but it is certainly above average. It's above average, I, I think. And I, I think it's fantastic. So I'm, a, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, what are your, do you completely disagree with me on this? And that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You can be wrong if you want to. Well, I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, let's, uh, the uh, the long rifle she's going to get, that is pretty stinking cool too. It's a different weapon that we've seen with other releases. So I'm always a big fan of that. I mean, we get so many stormtroopers that have the E-11 blaster, clone troopers with the DC-15s. Uh, we get the short troopers with the E-22s. We get, we get so many like the re repeats of weapons, which makes sense in army building that an army would have similar weapons. So to have like a, a named character with a head sculpt uh, and uh, extra weapons that are new is, is exciting for the posing, you know, person in me. Um, this thing looks awesome. I think one of the questions that people have had is, does this come with like a separate helmet? Uh, if you remember the uh, Imperial Disguise Jen Erso, so she had her full helmet, um, uh, for, full head sculpt, and then she also had a separate one that was a helmet with, that was pretty much it, two different pieces. This doesn't appear to be that. This appears to be something that actually goes over the existing head sculpt, uh, the unmatched head sculpt. So I imagine it's going to be like some foam padding or something to protect it from that. But that's how it appears to me based on the description uh, from the post and then obviously from the photos. I, I just think it's like 
it's just an accessory that you can add. Um, double bend on the elbows. You can see from this pose right here, it looks fantastic. Double bend on the elbows. No issues with that, so that's fun. I'm glad they didn't mess that up because that would suck. Another look at the head sculpt, I think looks fantastic. Yeah, I just, I think they nailed it, man. I think they absolutely nailed it. The sculpted hair is a big win. I didn't really want to see rooted hair for this figure, especially with the braids. I didn't want to deal with that. So sculpted hair all the way for me. And I don't know the last time um, Hot Toys did a rooted hair look. I'm trying to think because they went back and... Um, yeah, I, I can't think of one right now that rooted hair. And I'm okay with that because scu uh, sculpted hair is the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, head sculpt, again, from different angles. I think it looks fantastic. I don't have any issues with this. Uh, the expression is your normal Hot Toys dead stare expression, which is why I really like the helmet because this one's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about kicking your ass, but I'm also thinking, man, I'd like to have a drink or I'm tired and I like to take a nap. Like all these expressions are in there. Um, or hey, I, I'm gonna watch another Jetta Patrol uh, YouTube video, so uh, you know I'm getting ready to go do that. So leave me alone. Like that's that's what I'm saying here. It's kind of crazy. This next photo, I think what's going on here is she's got that bottle from the last uh, post-credit scene, I guess, of the Mandalorian season two, where she's leaning against the throne with Fett as he kind of takes out the, you know, the the peoples. Um, and uh, I think that's what's going on with there. It's a cool accessory piece. I dig it. I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, the cut and sew, the tailoring on this thing looks beautiful. I got to give it to the costume design, the character design. that went with the black and orange. I like that. Just saying. Uh, I, I think everything about this is, is awesome. And I don't know how I would display mine either with the unmasked head sculpt or, or with the helmet. So maybe get two. Depending on how the series goes. I, I think there's some... I think we got to wait and see how this upcoming uh, Book of Boba Fett series goes to see how badass Fennec Shan is going to be in the series to determine if I'm going to buy one or two of these. I'm leaning towards two just because I have a lot of Fets, and we know we got a lot more Fets coming in. So we'll we'll see how that plays out. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And what other characters we're going to get from that show, That that's a whole other thing. That's, that's another... I'm not even going to get into speculation of that. Uh, but I'm leaning towards the unmasked head sculpt and maybe I need a second one. I, I don't know. But the uh, looks like a double bend on the knee. The t I'm telling you guys, this character design with this black and orange, it, it's just, it's 100% on, um, I, I think they freaking nailed it. Uh, there she is leaning next to Fat Man on the throne, which the Bubba Fett on the throne is actually a mostly highly anticipated figure for me. But I think we're going to get the two pack sooner rather than later. So we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, hopefully before the end of the year, that would be amazing. Um, because it would be good timing to go with you know, the the Fett um, two-pack and then the Book of Boba Fett on December 29th. I would love to see that happen. I, I don't know if it's going to, but I would I would like to see that. Uh, but I, I think everything about this is fantastic. This is a perfect setup. I see no issues with this. Uh, so you can actually pick one up right now from Pop Collectibles if you like. Discount code PATROL at checkout if you want to pre-order one of those. Um, interesting enough, I was looking at some of the, um, some of the prices on this figure. Uh, in the U.S. from... They Who Shall Not Be Named is $270 plus sales tax plus shipping. So you're looking three, three twenty ish something like that, somewhere in that ballpark by the time it gets to you. And ever who knows ever how many months after the actual release you're going to get that thing. So there's that. Um, so you can get it from them if you like. The second batch, the second batch from Pop Collectibles was $228 plus your shipping. So there's no sales tax, so it's just shipping. So $228 for this figure versus $270, you save sales tax. You're going to pay a little bit more in shipping, obviously, because you're coming from overseas versus stateside. Um, but you'll probably get it sooner, and you may get it for less money. So there's that. You can make your choice wherever you want to get it. I don't personally care where you buy them. Just get it for your collection if this is something you want. But I, I thought that was an interesting take. Uh, first batch figures, obviously, going to cost a little bit more. That's no brainer. Uh, but if you want second batch, which generally is still faster than, you know, they who should not be named, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Um, but I, I think everything about this figure is just awesome. I love the, the helmet look. I love the rifle. I love the, uh, just everything. So uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this? I'm obviously going to be picking this up to go with my FET. I don't know which FET. we got a lot of FETs. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this as well. This is a nice little delivery that I ordered back in like July or something, whenever the heck I ordered this, I don't even know. It finally showed up. Um, but I'm excited about this. Let me know your thoughts 
in the comment section down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I've got a pile of unboxings coming. We just did the Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Uh, we did the Zombie Deadpool. We've got the Soso Toys Green Menace. I got that. It's still over here somewhere. Uh, I've got, I'm not even sure. Am I going to review this thing? I got the White Ranger from 3-0. I don't know if I'm going to review it. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I did get it. And obviously we have the Iron Man Battle Damage Mark 85 en route. And hopefully we'll be here any day and we can unbox that thing and check it out. So pretty excited for that. As always, click what you like. See you next time.